Have you ever considered putting yourself out there and making content online, started doing it, and then stopped for one reason or another? Today, I wanna to talk about why that happened to me this year in 2020, and talk about why I decided to come back. Hello everyone, my name is Steven. I'm a first year dental student and I make YouTube videos about my experiences in and around dental school. I started this YouTube channel last year on December 2nd, 2019, when I was accepted into the dental school of my dreams and I made videos for a few weeks before deciding to stop. And today I wanna to talk about why I stopped and why I eventually came back to it. I hope there's a message for you in this video about overcoming your self-consciousness and getting over the hump of putting yourself out there and showing your work online. So this video is gonna be super informal. I just wanna tell my story with YouTube and put it out there so maybe I can help you with the difficult decisions that you're making. And if you enjoy the video, please remember to like it and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. So looking at my YouTube analytics over the past year, you'll see a couple of interesting things. It's very obvious that I started making videos and they were doing pretty well before an eventual crash and stop for months and months. Then there is a random start again, a spike up and more content and more videos. So what exactly happened to me in these months of nothing? I wanna tell the story because I've always loved working with a camera and I've always loved making videos on YouTube, but I've also struggled with feelings of self-consciousness and the hesitations of not wanting to put myself out there online. So last year I started making videos and I was super pumped about what I was doing. I was getting a few subscribers and some views and I was really excited about it. At the same time, I was getting ready to enter dental school and being a dental student for the first time was a jump that I knew was going to be massive. But one of the things that irked me a bit was my YouTube channel. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to be a YouTuber and a dental student at the same time. And so I started to reconsider making videos and putting them out there because I wasn't sure if I wanted to be the guy in my dental school class who was putting himself online and he was talking about dental school and all of this stuff. I felt self-conscious, honestly, and I felt hesitant about putting myself out there, having an Instagram and make, making YouTube videos and just being like this person who makes content online. But even though I loved making videos, I was super passionate about it and excited about the future, I had this gut feeling of embarrassment and just hesitation towards doing this thing that I really did love. And eventually after thinking about it for a while and starting to actually see that my classmates in dental school were real people and this whole thing was really happening, I decided to stop making YouTube videos and it's probably one of the worst decisions I've made, but it offered a great learning experience. I learned from it and came away on the other side. And that's what I'm gonna talk about now. I stopped making videos and I didn't make anything for months. I went into dental school, started it, and just sort of flew under the radar, focused on school and just did life. But one thing kept coming back to me in these months when I wasn't making videos, and that was the desire to make more videos, at least, once or twice a week, I would think of a new video idea. I would think, oh, I could do that. I can make a video about this. I could talk about that. And I was in dental school, so I had all of this content and all of this stuff that I wanted to tell, you know, prospective dental students and people like me to just kind of share with the world. And this seriously kept happening for months. Like in those months that I wasn't making videos, I was constantly thinking about it and it bothered me for a long time, but I still had this deep down feeling of, kind of embarrassment, like I just don't wanna be that guy. I don't wanna be putting myself out there online. And I think this is something that a lot of people struggle with. A lot of people have reservations about putting themselves out there, not just making content online, but also in life. So where did the shift come for me? What happened to lead me to eventually start making videos again? It was a couple of things that combined for me at the same time, but one of them was my girlfriend, Rebecca, actually posted a picture of herself, like kind of modeling for her boutique that she works for. And my girlfriend is beautiful and she takes amazing pictures. So she posts this picture on Instagram and I absolutely loved it and I thought it was awesome. And what she was thinking about at the time was, I don't know if I wanna kind of like put myself out there like this and just be like the girl who's taking the like model-esque pictures because 
so many other girls do that. And I remember telling her, what does it matter what other people think? You look beautiful, this is an amazing picture, and you should be proud to show it online. And then I felt really guilty and hypocritical because that exact advice that I was giving her was something that I was not implementing in my own life. I started to once again think about the fact that I was suppressing my desires to make videos online and to show what I was doing with my life. And that's kind of when I decided to jump back into YouTube and just try it again. Now you'll remember that one of my major sources of reservations was I didn't really know if I wanted my classmates to think that I was that YouTube guy or people from back home or anybody really in my life. But the funniest thing happened when I started making YouTube videos again. I filmed a day in my life video, which you can actually check out right here if you're interested. And in that video, I showed my entire day and filmed it and didn't worry about really anything. Then one of my classmates, Jacob, one of my good friends, saw the video and thought it was absolutely amazing and texted me and said, dude, this is fantastic. Can I please send this to the class because I want them to see it. And of course he said, if you don't want me to, I won't. But I was like, you know what? Everybody's gonna find out eventually, so why not? So he sends the link in and within the hour, pretty much everybody in my class was texting me individually or in the group me saying, this is fantastic. I can't believe you can edit like this. I can't believe you can make a video like this. This is so cool and keep going. And it was just the exact opposite of what I had come up with in my head. I had for whatever reason decided that people would judge me or think that I was strange or really just all of these bad negative feelings, but they were all in my head. I had decided what other people would think about me, which is just not the way it should be. People are gonna think what they're gonna think about you, but that shouldn't change the way that you live your life necessarily. And so I was just shocked that what I had come up with in my head about what people would think was pretty much the exact opposite of what actually happened. And it was pretty exciting for me because I was like, you know, people around me actually support me and what I'm doing here and they want to see me continue doing it. So the rest is kind of history for a few months now. I've been making videos again about dental school, about some of the technology that I use and just things that are important in my life. This channel is about giving students like me the opportunity to kind of live happier and healthier lives. And I have so many ideas and plans for the future, but it all came from overcoming the hump of self-consciousness and just that feeling of I can't do it, I don't want to do it, and people will judge me. And I think this is an extremely valuable lesson for everyone to learn who's considering putting themselves out there and showing what they do best. I've always felt that I had the ability to make videos. It's something that I've done for a long time and I'm glad that I'm just letting myself do it and I'm not worrying what other people think about it. And of course, like I said, everybody in my life has been extremely supportive of my endeavors and it's just been awesome to see. So that's my story with YouTube. That's what happened to me in 2020. And if you're one of my original subscribers from those first couple weeks of when I was making videos, First off, I appreciate if you're still watching, but also I hope this video gave you a little bit of an explanation on what actually happened to me during that time because I haven't really ever talked about it. And so now it's out there and you all know exactly what occurred. I also truly hope that there are some people that are watching this video that are struggling with the same feelings that I struggled with in this past year. And I hope that this video gave you that opportunity to see Maybe I should pursue my dreams and just go after this thing that I'm trying to do. And once again, this does not have to apply directly to making YouTube videos, but just doing anything that you feel you're good at and you feel could benefit the world or the people around you. Just don't worry about it. Go out and do it. And I promise down the road, you'll thank yourself because even if you don't continue doing that thing, you will learn some valuable lessons while doing it. And this is just part of growing and becoming more mature in life. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. I appreciate every one of you for watching this video and for continuing to support me. I'm super excited about everything that I have coming out in the future, and I can't wait to continue making YouTube videos about my life. This process of dental school that I'm going through right now is a really special time of my life, and I'm really happy that I've decided to document sort of every step of the way as I move through dental school and into life as a practicing dentist. And if you're interested in watching my life progress, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I promise there will be a lot of videos to come in the very near future. Thank you all so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again super, super soon. All right, that's all for me. So now you have the homework of going out and putting yourself out there and I wanna see it, so tell me about it. Peace out guys, thanks again.